I'm Joe James. Today we're going to look at the difference between arrays and array lists in Java. The biggest difference between an array and an array list is that array has a fixed length. It must be specified when it is created and it can never be changed after it's created. The array list has a variable length that changes dynamically. It automatically resizes itself to accommodate the amount of data you have. You don't even need to specify the size of an array list when you create it because it can use a default size that will adjust as the amount of the data changes. So this difference is the biggest design consideration when deciding which one to use. So if you have a fixed and known length of data, then use an array. And if the amount of data is either variable or often changing or unknown, use an array list. Arrays can support primitive data types like ints, floats, and booleans, and can also support objects. But arrays cannot support generic data types. So the data type has to be hard-coded where the array is created. Array lists can support objects and can support generic data types, but they cannot support primitive data types. Now, thanks to Java's auto-boxing feature, most primitive types can be used interchangeably with the corresponding object types, so like int and integer. So support for primitives is rarely a design consideration, but support for generic data types can be. So the next big difference we're going to look at is performance. And since an array list uses an array as its underlying data structure, the performance of arrays and array lists is almost identical. They're both extremely fast, and they can both insert and retrieve data in constant time, big O of 1. So performance is rarely a factor in deciding which one to use. But, that said, if you have a lot of data and your application is super performance intensive, then arrays are slightly faster. Now an array list, the resize operation, which happens behind the scenes, you don't really see that or know that it's happening. It will decrease performance very slightly because it involves copying all the data from the old array to the new one when it outgrows an old array. But when amortized across all operations, resize is really not a performance factor and average insertion time is still big O of 1. Now we're going to take a look at the implementation, how uh, the code differs for arrays and array lists. So for a create, to create an array, let's say we want to create an array of ints. We use the square brackets. We name the array. We'll call this one my array equals new int array. And you must put the size, the number of elements inside the square brackets. So this will create an int array of size 10. Now this line will also create an int array of size 10, but it also will initialize the values to 1 through 10. So you can actually assign using the curly braces, if you're using primitive data types, you can use the curly braces to actually assign values to the array when you initialize it. And then if you want a data type, let's say object type, so let's say dog. So we have a dog's array is an array of dog. So you would have to say equals new dog and then the number of elements, the number of dogs you want to be in this array, 25. So that's how you declare and initialize an array. Let's look at an array list. So with an array list, since it supports abstract data types, you have to include the data type in these angle brackets. And here we use integer because array list doesn't support int, right? That's a, prim a primitive data type. But it does support integer. My list equals new array list. And then you can also put integer between these brackets after the equal sign if you want, but you, you don't have to. And then, like I said, optionally, you can include the size. The default size will be used if you don't specify a size. So array list of cat called cats equals new array list data type cat. And here we just chose to use the default size again. And and this is a similar declaration for cat, except that we initialize it to 25 elements. Again, since the array list will grow or shrink to the amount of data you have, if you have a rough idea of how many elements you're going to be putting in it initially, 
you can initialize the array list to that size, but if you have no idea, then you can just use the default value. So insert operations, array actually doesn't insert, it actually assigns. So if you want to assign something to index three, you could say my array square brackets three equals seven, just assign seven to index three of my array. Array list actually uses the add function. My list dot add seven would add a seven to the tail end of the array. Get operations, my array square brackets three would return the item at index three. So it's pretty simple with arrays. With array lists, it's also pretty simple, but again, the syntax is slightly different. So my list dot get, there's actually a get function that gets the item at index three and returns it. And length, my array dot length returns the length of my array and my list dot size again this is a you can see it's a method because it has parentheses here returns the length of my list so that concludes our video on arrays versus array lists i hope this video was helpful for you i'm joe james thank you for watching